Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. In Java projects, especially those using build tools like Maven or Gradle, a dedicated directory is often used for tests. This tutorial will walk you through the structure, purpose, and usage of the test directory. Hashtag 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 Java test directory structure. In a typical Maven or Gradle project, the directory structure would look like this. src slash main slash Java contains the main application source code. src slash test slash Java contains the test source code. The pom.xml file is specific to Maven projects, which includes dependencies and build configurations. Hashtag 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 purpose of the test directory. The test directory serves several purposes. One isolation, it keeps test code separate from production code, which helps in maintaining the project better. Two organization, each class in the main code base can have its corresponding test class. Three build configuration, Build tools can easily identify which files belong to tests and can run them accordingly. Hashtag 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 writing unit tests in Java. Java has several frameworks for testing, the most common being JUnit. Below is a simple example of how you can write a unit test using JUnit. Hashtag 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 example code. One production code, app.java. 2 test code, app test.java. Hashtag 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 explanation of the test code. Annotations, at test indicates that the method is a test case. Assertions, assert equals, expected, actual, message, checks if the expected value is equal to the actual value. If not, the test will fail, and the message will be displayed. Test runner, when you run your tests, using a build tool or an IDE, the test runner will look for classes with the at test annotation and execute the methods. Hashtag 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 running tests. One using Maven, you can run your tests with the following command. Two using Gradle, if you're using Gradle, run. Three using IDE. Most IDEs like IntelliJ IDEA or Eclipse allow you to run tests by right-clicking on the test class or method. Hashtag 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 best practices. 1. Naming conventions. Use meaningful names for your test classes and methods to indicate what functionality is being tested. 2. Test coverage. Aim for high test coverage but focus on testing the most critical parts of your application. 3. Isolate tests. Ensure tests don't depend on each other. Each test should set up its own context. 4. Use mocks, for tests that depend on external services or databases, consider using mocking frameworks like Mockito to isolate the unit of work. Hashtag 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 conclusion. The test directory in a Java project plays a crucial role in maintaining code quality through unit testing. By following the structure and best practices outlined in this tutorial, you can create effective and maintainable tests for your Java applications. Happy coding!